I'm going to refer back to my script now, which is in my Google Docs, because I want to see what it is that I say next in the script. So I'm going to show a picture of myself. So I'm going to show you how to import a JPEG and what that will look like. Let's go back into video scribe. We'll go into the add an image to the canvas icon. Go down to the folder on the left here that says import a bitmap image. I will click on this JPEG here of myself and open it. It is going to take a few seconds to import. Now let's watch the preview here to see how this will show up within video scribe. Okay, I'm happy with that, so I'll click the check mark. And I will just drag the canvas over here. Hold on to the photo. Let's move it over there and we will click the set camera. Okay. So I'm going to bring the draw time down to one second, go into the properties. Again, I'm going to bring the pause time down to zero, the transition time down to zero, click the check mark. So I don't actually love this photo of me. I don't like the way it's turned out. I think instead for my promo, I'm going to stick with images from Video Scribe's library for now, but I did want to show you how to import a JPEG. You can also import PNG files so you could see what that would look like. Let's go to the add an image icon, click on that, and I will type in woman whiteboard. Okay, let's click on this image here. Perfect. I will bring the size of this image up, lock that. Next, I'd like to add some text to the whiteboard. So we'll go to the text icon. Let's use a dash here and type in hundreds of whiteboard animations. We'll click the check mark, bring this up, and we will drag out, oh, we will drag the size a little bit bigger. Let's put that in the middle here. We will lock that camera setting. Now let's, because this text is already highlighted in blue on the timeline, we're gonna copy that text and then paste it. That pasted copy will show up right beside the original text. Now let's go into the properties of this. Go to the T here. Let's change whiteboard animations now to happy clients. Click the check mark. Click the check mark again and we will bring this text down here. Clear and set the camera setting. And now we will again copy this highlighted text. Copy and paste. Go into the properties of this copy of the text. Change the text or font. And then change this to several years experience. Click the check mark. Click the check mark again. And we will drag that text down, clear, and set the camera. Let's bring the animation time down to one and a half seconds. Go into the properties of this image and bring the pause time and transition time down to zero. Hit the check mark. Let's bring the draw time down to one second for this text. Hit the properties. Bring pause and transition down to zero. Check mark. Go into the properties of the next set of text. Go down to one second, zero pause, zero transition. We'll go into the third text element here. Go into the properties. Bring the animation time down to one. We'll keep the pause time at 0.5 and the transition time at 0 0.0 because next we are going to be going on to another scene and I'd like it to pause for a second. Let's make the final text have a little bit more information. So I'm gonna go into the properties here, go into the T, let's type in using and then hit enter to go to the next line. I'm gonna put some spaces so that the text underneath the first line doesn't show up under the dash, but rather lines up with the several. So several years experience using 
video scribe. I'm going to add a few more spaces there before video scribe. Hit the check mark. Hit the check mark. There we go. So now video scribe lines up with the word severals. So I'm going to clear and reset the camera position. Because this last sentence has more text in it, I'm going to bring the animation time to two. 